Root tip removal refers to the surgical removal of the root tip from the tooth root. Chronic inflammation of the root tip will eventually, unfortunately, necessitate surgery. Let's take a moment to investigate how this chronic bone inflammation happens. In the animation, you see how deep caries, or bacteria infecting the tooth nerve, cause you to experience pain, resulting in necessary root treatment. The dentist carefully removes the infected tooth nerve material, which is also known as endodont, and then finally seals the canal with a special material. If the root canal, as seen here in the video, is not cleaned thoroughly and filled properly, remaining canal bacteria may lead to chronic bone infection. If you'd like to know more about root treatment, check out the video by the same name. If the root treatment is in fact performed correctly, but the tooth is only filled with a simple filling, for example amalgamate, the filling may develop leaks over the years, and this in turn allows undetected bacterial invasion in the tooth interior. Root tip inflammation is a probable consequence. Chronic bone infection is usually the consequence of bad root treatment or teeth that are no longer filled in tightly. If the bone inflammation is not significant, repeat root treatment, called a revision, can sometimes promote healing, provided that the root treatment is carried out under hygienic conditions by the dentist. However, a thorough revision is usually more complicated than a root tip resection. The work requires a rubber band, a microscope, and patience, and takes a long time. This is surely one of the reasons why. A root tip resection is often chosen over a revision. If the root treatment revision does not lead to the desired result, or if the infection is already too large, the surgical cleaning of the so-called focus, also known as a root tip resection, is usually the last option. Hence, tooth canal filling and cleaning are a top priority both during root treatment and root tip resection. During orthograde root tip resection, canal cleaning and filling should be done from the top down. In other words, from the tooth crown down. There will be more about this in the video by the same name. Sometimes access from above is not possible, for example on pivot teeth, or if a root canal instrument is chipped and stuck in the tooth interior. Using the retrograde root tip resection, the tooth can be cleaned and sealed from below, meaning from the capped root tip. There will be more about this in the video by the same name. By cutting the root tip, all non-refillable side canals, seen blinking here, are removed. The root tip itself often branches out into several single canals, and therefore has only one cleanly filled main canal remaining. The inflammation origin is also removed. Root tip cutting alone without interior tooth cleaning and filling cures the pain in the short term, meaning acute symptoms will disappear. But this does not cure the cause of the pain, and your problems will reoccur, often in just a few years. The patient often does not feel a bone infection itself for some time, up to a few years. A relatively late symptom is a hard swelling and or a fistula on the gums, as seen in this picture. An alternative to this surgery would be tooth extraction. The risks associated with root tip resection are negligible if it's performed by an experienced surgeon. However, there can be complications in isolated cases that may require additional measures to be taken. Any additional measures that are required can then lead to further complications, and those can eventually be life-threatening. For our purposes, we will only discuss root tip resection-specific complications. These include bone inflammation or osteomyelitis due to non-adherence to hygiene standards during surgery, damage to neighboring structures such as the tongue, cheek, nerves, blood vessels, neighboring teeth or roots, and related consequences such as sensation disturbance in the tongue and or lips, wound infections due to non-adherence to conduct rules, for example, sinus cavity openings that can lead to sinusitis as an additional consequence, inflammation recurrence after surgery, and incomplete resection or overlooking of roots and root parts. Happily, such complications are very rare today because of positive medical developments over the last few decades.